what's going on everybody this is my review of the Xbox One X just received it a couple of days ago uh, shipped by Best Buy uh, pre-ordered uh, one terabyte um, I guess it's the only uh, version other than the Project Scorpio version uh, here it is in my setup in my TV room um, alongside my PS4 Pro and I also have a 65 inch uh, Sony Bravia 4K compatible, uh, HDR compatible uh, TV. So let's uh, not waste any time, let's boot her up. Same little startup sound. I have a, a two terabyte external drive uh, connected to it, which has my old games from the um, Xbox One. So as you see, it's a quick startup. Um, everything is pretty much uh, the same as you had it for your Xbox One S or the original Xbox One. The only thing is I noticed that the um, resolution seems to be a little better on the, uh, on the dashboard here. And also, it seems to be a little quicker too. I'm going to get my controller that came with the system itself. Everything just feels a little more like zippy, very, very quick to navigate. Uh, no lag at all in terms of everything. So I do have a um, bunch of games that do have patches, the 4K patch that I was able to test out. So as you see, this is my uh, collection of games. I got Assassin's Creed Origins, um, which looks really pretty, um, as well as uh, Doom, which looks great. Um, Forza 7 uh, looks amazing. Uh, as well as Gears of War 4. Probably the best um, showcase for 4K on the system thus far, alongside Forza 7. Uh, Killer Instinct looks great. Oops, uh, those are just the apps there. Uh, Shadow of War. I uh, wasn't too shocked with how this looks. It still looks a little muddy to me. Uh, the HDR content, such as flames and stuff like that, um, does look quite vibrant, but overall, I wasn't too shocked uh, compared to as I was with uh, Gears of War 4 and Forza 7. Uh, Outlast 2 looks really good. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider looks fantastic. Uh, the Witcher 3 I've yet to try. Uh, Titanfall 2, um, I've also played Titanfall 2 on the PS4 Pro, and it does seem to run better on the Pro, I'm not gonna lie. For a system that's 40% uh, more powerful, it seems to run better on the Pro, which is weird. So I'm not sure um, if the developers will be releasing another patch in order to bring it up to speed to rival the uh, PS4 Pro version. It's yet to be seen, but uh, thus far, it's, it's kind of the inferior version, so. Um, yeah, other than that, the system is whisper quiet. Uh, even on uh, heavy demanding games, uh, I don't hear it at all. Maybe because I have my volume turned up, um, but I, I don't hear I don't hear anything. It's it's quite uh, it's quite remarkable with the amount of horsepower that's packed inside this thing that it stays so whisper quiet. Um, but yeah, other than that, I am impressed with the console. Like I I do think that it is a step forward for Microsoft. Um, and I do feel like it is a more premium version than the PS4 Pro offers. So I do feel that the games, um, especially Gears of War 4, was just blew me away. As soon as I booted it up, it was... I just felt like I was playing on a PC, like a high-end PC. So it's still the early stages, and I'm sure developers will be, um, will be taking advantage of all the horsepower. And we still have yet to see what this machine can do. But overall, I think it's a, a great release for Microsoft and um, it's a great, a great thing for all gamers because it just, it pushes each company to strive for their best. So, and this is definitely an impressive piece of hardware. So if you haven't, um, if you don't have an Xbox um, for $100 more than the S, I would recommend picking it up, especially if you have a 4K TV. Uh, HDMI, sorry, HDMI, HDR compatible TV. 
um, you'll get the best out of uh, out of the console. Um, if you do have a 1080p TV, um, you're still going to see some benefits. I have about five TVs in my house. Uh, this is the only 4K TV I have, um, but. Uh, I have tried it on my 1080p TV, and I do see slight bumps in uh, performance and as well as uh, as graphics. Um, so, if that matters to you, um, by all means pick it up. But if not, the One S would be um, probably a more suitable option for you um, if you're looking to pick up an Xbox console. So it'd be interesting to see, um, as I said, how developers take advantage of the horsepower moving forward and um, compared to the, the games that are coming out for PS4 Pro, uh, the only thing is, is the PS4 uh, does have better exclusives, uh, just God of War, Horizon, um, just two for an example that, that are just stellar games for, for the system. Um, so the Xbox is lacking in the exclusive, de um, the exclusive department. Uh, and, uh, but for third party games, absolutely. Uh, I would pick the third party games to play on my Xbox over my PS4 Pro hands down, uh, just because of the, the power in the system. It would just trump whatever is offered on the PS4 Pro. So I hope this uh, review helps. Um, currently I've been reading some things online about Xbox One X's um, kind of dying, no power. So hopefully, Mine's still holding strong, so hopefully that is just uh, isolated incidences with certain uh, certain users. Um, but I wouldn't let that deter you from buying one. Uh, if the console is going to brick on you, um, hopefully it will happen uh, early on so you're able to bring it back and get a refund or just pick up another console. So, um, As I said, folks, I haven't had a chance to uh, try 4K Blu-ray on here as I don't currently own any. But uh, maybe I'll release another video once I do um, to try that out. So if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. And hopefully this was informative for you. If you are on the fence with buying a uh, Xbox One X, this could be the, um, the deal breaker for you. So anyways, have a great day. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.